Welcome to Stepflix. Hey Stepflix, I'm Giovanni, this is Anastasia. Welcome back to our Bachata Sensual series. This is one of many videos in the playlist, so check out the description down below for the link to the playlist, okay? Today we're gonna go over the connection of Bachata Sensual. Throughout this series, we learn moves, we learn technique, but at the end of the day, if you avoid the connection, you will lose what makes dance beautiful. So how do you do connection? How do you do it appropriately? And how do you do it in a way that's enjoyable? Let's go over it, okay? When people say connection, it's very nebulous, right? How do we do it? There's a few physical things that will make your dance connection stronger. Number one, where is your face, right? Many times when we're dancing, we know, oh, don't look down, don't look around. We know that, but you need to focus on it. You need to practice with your partner. There's two options. You're either looking at your partner or at the energy, right? The energy of the dance. Those are your two options. And in, in general, you want to keep those options. So what does that mean? A partner, easy. What it means to look at your partner is not just like to stare each other in the eye. It is to make sure that your nose lines are in the same line. Yeah. Right? This doesn't count as looking at your partner. This doesn't count, yeah? Even if my eyes aren't there, my nose line is still there and it looks better, yeah? Obviously, eye contact is appropriate sometimes, but it's all about the nose lines, even as we get close in our sensual basic. This is not connection, yeah? You are breaking your frame. This is more connected, even without the head contact, more connected, yeah? So a lot of times people attach here, usually to be like, I need to feel more, I need to feel more connection. Look for it in the key points, in the key points of the frame and the magnets, and then look at your partner. Look at your partner, look at your partner, yeah? When I say look at your partner, again, that doesn't mean stare. That means our nose lines are together. You can look, you know, in a place that's not so awkward, yeah? Okay? What's the other option? The energy. In a previous class, we went over tosses. Sometimes, I'm like, Anastasia, listen, you're really beautiful, but I'm tired of looking directly at you. So what do I do instead? I go, one, two, I toss the hand. Now I get to watch that hand for as long as it lasts up there, right? As long as it's up there, but now I have to look at my partner, okay? So let's work on exactly that, okay? We're gonna do our toss. It's gonna be a very important toss to us. At least people are gonna, it's gonna look like it's very important to us. And then when we collect with our partner, we look at each other, yeah? And this will give you the connection with anybody that you dance with. It will be more enjoyable. Six, seven, toss. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Other side, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Yeah, we came in here, but you don't even have to come in, right? Coming in is just something that you can add an upward motion to, yeah? So let's cover the upward motion. But watch without coming in. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Yeah? You can engage with your partner. It makes the dance very enjoyable. And it's not creepy because we can always look somewhere else. Even when we're doing our other sensual movements, once we start doing our booty rolls, our lateral waves, the energy is this way, that way, and this way. So we won't spend a lot of time staring at our partner because we can always look at where the move is. It even helps lead your partner sometimes, okay? What's the second thing that you can do to make it really enjoyable to dance? Upward, a breathing-like motion, yeah? Whenever I collect my partner, I don't just want to connect forward. Yeah, we don't want to crash. We want to do a downward to upward feeling like we're breathing don't be breathing in people's ears okay if you do that you didn't hear from me so like you're breathing no shoulders yeah and it's gradual once you're at the top of the mountain now you can do basic two three this is the number one thing that will make you enjoy bachata sensual and make you enjoyable to dance with so let's go over a quick collect from a walk very simple with our breath up into our sensual basic, yeah? So we're here, six, seven, eight. One, two, we push and tap. 
We're going to toss the hands. So we're going to do our tosses. Ladies, gravity, extremely low. You don't need to get to me for a long time. I walk first. Five, as I prepare the hands. I toss. Six, I step. Her next step, her seven, is her last forward traveling step. So I have measured where she's going to end. Seven's coming. Seven, I'm slightly down. I breathe up. So zero connection, 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 100% at the top. And now sensual basic. Down, down, up and up. Down, down, separate now. And one, two, three, four. Yeah? This pattern is more important than everything else that we've taught in this series. If you just do this, you will have gained the most important part. Yeah? It's not flashy, but it's very useful. One more time, let's look at where her hands are going, where our eyes are going, how our breath is working to connect us as partners, and then how we hit that basic with our body movement. Five, Five six, seven, go. One, two, three, look at the hands. Hands and partner up. And one, two, three, five, six, separate. And one, two, three, you can look somewhere else now, yeah? Let's do it on this side. Five, six, seven, let's go. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. So I hope you guys know a little bit more about connection, what it means physically, and how to do it. 